Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and here I am today reviewing Google. So, I'm already out of this. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, because I made really quick money taking this trade. I was long Google calls uh, that expire Friday. I bought them here on the Tuesday. No, I bought them, no, I bought them Monday. Was this Monday? No, this was here. No, I bought them Monday, got out of them Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> My life is so busy. Anyways, I bought them Monday, sold them Tuesday. Now, what was the reason for doing that? Because it had to move up yesterday, and I had doubled my money in the trade of the profit that I took of it. So that made sense. And I'm realizing more and more and more and more and more that that's what I want to do. You know, you can hold these the trades, these overnights, and the options for longer. And I've done some out for several weeks. But every day that goes by, you're losing time value. Sometimes you get bigger moves if you hold them, if you have the patience to stomach it. But I'm realizing that I may want to increase my risk per trade and quickly get out. Because very often, I'm taking these trades very similar to my day trades, these option trades, and they're going right into the money. I mean, that is how good I am at predicting where it's going to go immediately, just like my day trades. I just have, I have an amazing skill to be able to predict where stock's going to go right away and in the long-term trend. In between right now and the long-term trend is XYZ number of days and weeks and months or could be years, and that's the thing. If you are someone that has to make money right away, then the best thing to do is to day trade with me or do the options trades with me and get in the right entry with the right pick I have and get right out when you're up. And that is, I think, what many traders need to do to be successful. And I'm finding that I like to do that the best, even though I can get bigger moves sometimes in these options trades, is this looks great. Looks like it's going to go up, go up over 770, follow through. We got two days left in the week. I'm already out of it. Could I make more money in this if I had held it a little bit more? Yes, maybe. But, you know, again, I was up very quickly, low stress, and easy money, which I find is the best. So I'm very good, like I said, at predicting where something's going to go right away. So I can take the trade and take the entry and have the pick. I can tell it's going to go to a certain number right away. So that's how I'm doing these. Then I can also tell in the longer term where it's going to go. For example, I know that Google will recover, kind of looks crappy here right now in the picture in the last two months, but it will get over this area of 780, 788, 790, 780, 790. Really once we get over this area here at 780, 785, the stock should look amazing again. It's still in an uptrend, but it doesn't look so hot, but it's fixing itself. Today is really actually very good because it it opened today, fell, dropped dramatically into a sell setup, and then flipped it down as over yesterday's high. So today was really a big reversal for this stock. But, you know, to get through this bar here, it's, take, it's definitely taking some time. That was back a month ago. But the reality is that once this gets up over that level of resistance, the stock should fly. And probably will make a brand new all-time high, although I don't, I don't see us necessarily doing that before the end of the calendar year. It's 12.7. We got till 12.30, 12.31, whatever. So probably the market, you know, will continue rallying and I and Google will rally too, but I don't see this hitting up over, you know, 8.16.68, the last all-time high in this by 12.31. But it will, okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. So I can predict where somebody's going to go right away on the day or the next day. Like you could have bought this today. You could have bought this today and when it flipped, you could have bought it and you could have made a good amount of money on this today as a brand new trade. Not just the one I did, you're going to do the same one and just bought it today again and sold it today again. Anyways, this here, okay, will do this in the longer term. Just like I can see where somebody's going in the short term, I can see where somebody's going in the long term. But between now and then, what do you do? You wait. Or you just do the quick trades. Or if you're in something for the long term, you have to be in it as a swing trade. Unless you're doing an option out for a very, very long time. And so I think the beauty of what I do in reading gaps, because that is how I'm able to get the entries, that's how I'm able to get the picks, that's how I'm able to read price action, because I taught myself how to read gaps. And when you learn how to read gaps right, you will get better at predicting stock movements. That's the point I'm trying to make. The whole point of this lecture here for the last five minutes 
is if you can become good at reading gaps, gap analysis itself, you actually can predict the directional bias that a stock will go because you will get better at reading charts. You will get better at reading patterns. You will get better at reading price analysis, price movement. You will get better, much, 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 much better at reading directional bias and charts. And therefore, you will be able to see things like I see them to take an immediate entry that goes right into the money in these trades. And I have had a higher success ratio with that in the options really than the, than the day trades. It's like 90 some percent or something that I've had for these options to take them and go right into the money. I think there was one that didn't in the last year. So that, I mean, this is crazy, but I'm realizing that I really do like the fast money. I definitely can predict quick directional bias very well, where it's gonna go right now, next day. And I'm also very good at predicting in the long-term trend. But when it gets to that number, when it actually gets to the number is an unknown factor. And I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. Can anyone ever determine that? The timing of something, when it will get there. And you can say, well, Melissa, of course it's, of course Google is gonna go back to this number. No, not necessarily. It may, it, not necessarily at all. I'm telling you it's going to. And I'm telling you 820, 825, 830, 835, 850, Google, 2017, and possibly beyond. But, but no, the answer is no, not everyone can predict that. Because I've very often seen numbers on these charts and other charts too. I'm just using Google as an example. The market I've really done a great job with though. Uh, telling you where something's gonna go in a number that doesn't exist. Because there is no number over this high here, over 81668 on this chart anywhere, anywhere at all, okay? And, it, and no one's saying it has to go even back to that number. The chart could break, it could fall, it could gap down, it could break, it could fall and, and turn around and go into a downtrend. That could happen, that could still happen. I could be wrong, I'm not gonna be, but I could be wrong, okay? The point I'm trying to make is that without an analysis or correct understanding of what institutions are doing with the chart, it's hard for anyone to predict. You can say, well, go long on support and short resistance, but there's a million support resistance levels and that isn't a strategy. It's reading what the institutions are doing and who's in control of the stock that tells me ultimately when the control is continuing or when the control has flipped which sometimes it does, people, okay? Sometimes a control flips in a gap. And this is where the analysis comes into play of the 26 points, which is what I do and the reason for my success and the reason for my student success. I hope what I said today makes sense, but more and more I'm realizing I do exceptionally well with being able to predict where stocks are gonna go right away and in the long term is very unusual. It's very unusual that I can do both very, very well, but I can't predict the timing of the long term when it's going to get to the number, and I don't know if anyone can. Maybe someday I'll be able to do that. If that ever happens, boy, I'll really be a genius. For now, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, <clears throat> and uh, I'm making the calls in the long term and, and doing the short-term trades as I'm doing here to make money for myself and my students. Uh, but I will tell you that it's all based on reading the gap. And that is how I was able to get to this point. Most traders that are uh, good traders are either good at one or the other. They either are really, really good at predicting long-term trends, can't predict short-term movements, or they're really good as day traders predicting quick, fast movements or scalping and can't predict a long-term trend or where a stock will go to save their life. I have a very, very uh, unusual gift that I can do both. However, I cannot predict the timing of the long-term moves. For the short-term moves, it doesn't matter. I get in and get out the day I'm in it for the day trade, or I get in and out the next day or the next couple of days for the, for the option trade. So good luck, everyone, and congratulations to everyone who did the Google. I gave it to the whole list, and everybody got it. And if you want to sign up for the option letter, you can. Basically, if you sign up now, you get all of 2017. And uh, it's going to be a big year, I think, 2017. I think it's going to be a big year for, for me, for the stock swoosh, and also for the stock market. I thought the stock market would have a big year this year. It, it did have a good year, comparatively, the way we opened and closed, or way we're going to close. But we didn't have as big of a year this year in the market as I anticipated and thought. I think it's going to happen in 2017. And I think now that the presidential election is over, that, has, uh, that will have a lot to do with it as well when Trump takes office. Congratulations, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, a wonderful evening, wonderful rest of the trading week. 
Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information. The next Golden Gap class is actually going to have live trading, and it'll be on a Sunday and a Monday, December 18th and 19th, the very last class of the calendar year of 2016. Have a great day, everyone, and email me at melissa at thestockswish.com for more information.